Hello students, today we are going to take a new lesson in EBS uh, Village a City. Now let us learn about the differences between a city and a village based on the following points. The houses. Now previously the houses in the villages were kacha houses. And in the city what we see are pakka houses. We see a lot of buildings, we see a lot of flats, we see a lot of bungalows, we see the chawls but they are all pakka houses. The same with the dress, the dress that the ladies or the gentlemen wear in the village and the city are totally different. The means of transport, so in the village we see a lot of bullock carts, we see horse carts, but in the city there are a lot of two-wheelers, three-wheelers, four-wheelers, maybe the aeroplanes and even the waterways. Now there are many industries in the city but we see a few industries in the village and that is because of the facilities that are available in the cities and lesser facilities that are available in the village now we all know that grains vegetables and milk etc come from the villages whereas bicycles toys books Farming implements, clothes, medicines, automobiles, soap, glass items, all these are made in the city in factories. And these factories are mostly situated near the city. Now, people living in the villages and the cities use all these things. So, even the village people and the city people require vegetables, milk, and grain. And even books and toys are needed by the people in the village and the city. So people in the rural and the urban area are dependent on each other for their needs. And to fulfill all these needs, means of transport and communication are necessary. Earlier there was a big difference between the city and the village. And now this difference is reducing. The facilities available in cities are now becoming available in villages as well. Now we also see that we commonly use things like letters, computers, mobile phones, newspapers, TV, music players, etc. And now children, you must be mostly on the mobile phone or maybe on the laptop for your online classes or your online examination. You must be using your earphones, you know, so that you can hear clearly. So all these things that are used to send or to receive information and messages are known as means of communication. Now, what are dialects? Now, dialects, man uses language to talk to each other and to communicate his thoughts to other people. Now, the same language... Now we know that our state language is Marathi. The same language is, speaking, uh, is spoken in different ways in different regions. So the pronunciation of the word changes and words from other languages also enter our language. So they say that it is influenced by other languages. In this way, different dialects of the same language form in different regions. So, for example, Ahirani, Malwani, and Varadi are the different dialects of the Marathi language. Now, in olden days, to send messages, pigeons were used. Mm -hmm. So, they were used to communicate or to send messages from one place to another. And for this purpose, a paper or cloth was tied to the Bird's legs. So this is how the messages were sent in the olden days. There were even people who used to run from one place to another. So let's watch a video and learn more about it. The village, our city. Means of transport. As man sleeps in Greece, 
he invented new means of transport. Earlier, goods were transported by animals like bullocks, elephants, camels, horses, and donkeys. Next, vehicles such as bullet cars and horse cars were used. Then ships, automobiles, and trains were invented, followed by aeroplanes. Thus, transport became faster. Can you tell? Column 1 below shows various means of transport. Column 2 shows what they travel on. Make the correct pair. Let's try it. Bullet cart. Bullet carts travel on touch a road. So let us make the pair. Boat. Boat sails in water. Let us make the pair. Train. Railway train runs on railway track. The pair is already made. Bus. Bus moves on Paka Road. Let us make the pair. Aeroplane. Aeroplane flies in the air so we can make the pair. Now, the truck. Truck moves on the Paka Road as well so we will make the pair. Can you tell? What is grandfather reading? Grandfather is reading a newspaper. What is Tai using to find some information? Tai is using the computer to find some information. What is grandmother watching? Grandmother is watching television. Dada is listening to song. What has he put in his ears to do this? Dada has put music player in his ears. What is father using to speak to someone? Father is using mobile phone to speak to someone. Who is at the door? What is mother taking from him? The postman is there at the door. The mother is taking letter from the postman. We commonly use things like letters, computers, mobile phones, newspapers, TV, music players, etc. All of these are used as means to send and receive information and messages. All these are means of communication. Dialect. Man uses languages to talk to each other and to communicate his thoughts to other people. The same language is spoken in different ways in different regions. The pronunciation of the words change with the region. Words from other languages enter our language. It is influenced by other languages. In this way, different dialects of the same language form in different regions. For example, Ahrani, Malvini, and Barhadi are some dialects of the Marathi language. Marathi is the state language of Maharashtra.
Do you know? In the olden days, means of sending messages were not very advanced. In those days, information was communicated by different means. Sometimes, green pigeons were used for this purpose. A message was sent by writing it down on a piece of paper or cloth and tying the piece to the bird's leg. What's the solution? Services like mobile phones, telephones, and computers are not available in the area where Rohan and Rupali live. They need to send a message to their relatives in another town. How will you help them to send the message? Well, Rohan and Rupani can write a letter to their relatives. And through postal services, their message would be delivered. Now let us revise what we have learned. The interrelationship between city and villages. Means of transport and communication. The need for means of transport and communication. Transport facilities and famous places in our district and Palakkad. 